Uff, das ist aber, 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 aber. Oh mein Gott. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a first impressions on Bite Beauty. And I got these products on the mail. So I'm very excited to try them. They just relaunched themselves as a 100% vegan brand. So I'm super excited. They were also cruelty free. Double excited. And they're exclusive to Sephora. So that's the only place you can purchase them at. All right, so without further ado, let's begin. So what I got from them is the Changemaker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. And this is in the shade L40. Hopefully this matches me. I think it is. So the foundation retails for $39.50 and they say it's a clean high performance foundation with gentle micellar or micellar, micellar, micellar technology to mimic skin texture for a natural flawless finish. Right up my alley. Buildable medium coverage and 32 long wear shades. So that's great. I mean, that's a decent range. It's highly rated in Sephora, so. And I also got their Changemaker Skin Optimizing Primer. And the primer retails for $38 and it says a clean high performance primer with skin optimizing technology to neutralize your skin type and grip foundation for flawless lasting wear. Hmm. And there are two types. Normal to dry, which one did I do? Normal to dry, which is the hydrating. And there's also normal to oily, which is mattifying. At this point, I like hydration. So definitely, this is right up my alley too. And also their Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. I haven't seen, oh, maybe a little light. Actually, I don't know. We'll see how it works. And this retails for $36. So they have it in light one, light two, medium one, medium two, tan one, tan two, deep one, and deep two. So those are the shades that they have. Not a lot of shades in that aspect. So we'll see, I got the light two. When I saw the medium, it looked a little too dark for me. That's why I chose this one. And I also got a lip product. And this is their Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon in Amaretto. Oh, that's one of my favorite drinks. Well, I'm gonna write a So this is not the shimmer one, this is the matte. This retails for $24. And it says a comfortable matte lip crayon for creamy, bold color that can keep up with you. Mm -hmm. Precise, slim design for no stress application. Let me look at it. Ooh, oh, I see. It's so cool because you can line your lips and then fill them in. This is pretty neat. All right, let me see the color. It's a pretty color. This hair is giving me all this vibes. Thank you very much. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna be my eye makeup off camera and then come back to try all these goodies. All right, so I'm back and now I'm gonna start with the Changemaker Skin Optimizing Primer. Not this much. Ooh, feels nice, very creamy. Wow, we're very hydrating. It's like a nice, creamy film on the face. It's not overly heavy. Wow, that feels pretty good. It's a lot lighter than the e.l.f. moisturizing primer. Wow, this feels really nice in the skin. All right, so let me see. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a little tacky. I feel like the, the foundation's gonna adhere nicely. Let this sit for a little bit. And now I'm gonna apply this foundation with my brush. And I'm gonna use the Morphe G36 synthetic brush. And I'm gonna take about this much. Ooh. Mm. Mm. It smells nice. Wait, what, where's the box? With Power Pure Mackie Berry. It does have a, a berry scent. Oh wow, this is applying so nicely. Especially with the brush, the match is spot on. Let me take a closer look. Oh my goodness. And it's pretty creamy and moisturizing. It's not dry and it's not heavy. I think this is the most fragrant of any foundation I've tried so far. They're vegan and cruelty free. I'm in love with this foundation. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Let me get closer. Such a pretty finish. Very skin-like. I can't believe it. Like I really love it. Look at my forehead. And it has a nice sheen to it. It's totally different than the Screen Queen, for sure. It's a little thicker. And I feel that if I put another layer on, 
I could build it up to a much solid medium coverage. Such a beautiful finish. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to my concealer and I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer because I feel that this is gonna go very well with this foundation for a nat more natural look. I'm very impressed with how pretty it is. A little hard. Yeah, that blended up nicely. Wow. I'm still shocked how beautiful it is. Wow. I think if you have this money to spare, it is pricey, but beautiful. All right, and now I'm gonna go and set it all up with the Flexible Coverage Press Powder. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. pointed powder brush as usual. I'm gonna start setting my under eye area. Well, this doesn't feel heavy at all. Very light. I really love this powder. It's still, you see the sheen of skin and the foundation. I love it. Let me see if I get it closer. All right, I'm gonna add my bronzer now, and I'm gonna use the Milani Sunlight Silky Matte. This clip came off. And now my e.l.f. blush in Always Cheeky. And now the lips. So excited to try this color. It looks so good. Smells really good. It's such a nice lip product. OMG. It applies like butter. It applies like a dream. I have forgotten my nose contour. What's that So now I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter. And I'm gonna use the, the Glazed by Laura Lee Los Angeles, the diamonds. And last but not least, I'm gonna use my Milani Make It Last setting spray. And that's it. I am impressed. I'm speechless, actually. <laughs> Let me get close. And if you have smile lines, see, it's so moisturizing. So you can still some freckles. These are amazing products. I feel these three are a power combo. They work beautifully together. They mix well with other products. I'm very impressed. Um, they are a much higher price point than the other stuff that I have tried. And that's up to you on what you would like to spend money on. But I feel that this is a product that will reach out pretty often to do my makeup in. Definitely I will use it for events. The lip crayon is awesome. I love it because it's so moisturizing on the lips. It's not drying for being a matte color. So I feel that it's a moisturizing lip color with the matte finish. It's definitely beautiful. It's a beautiful formula. Good job, by Beauty. Now I can't wait to try more of their products. I don't know how it's gonna perform throughout the day, but right now it's a little late. It's around three o'clock. So I'm gonna keep it on until 10 o'clock tonight. I will definitely put in captions how it performed throughout the day. All right, so this is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful and informative about this brand. I really love this brand and if you tried it, let me know how you liked it, how it worked for you. I know everybody has different types of skin. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe. I post videos on vegan and cruelty-free beauty. And don't forget to hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Conchale. This is their... And if you're new, please... Because I'm biting it. It says bite here.